Welcome to this X8R video demonstrating how to install our replacement gear linkage push rods. You can see here the fault. The nylon push on the end of the original push rods deteriorate, leading to the rod popping off at the ball joint, causing gear changing problems. Start by jacking the vehicle up. Align the jack up to the jacking points on the vehicle. Once the vehicle is at the necessary height, place an axle stand under the car in the correct position and lower the vehicle down onto the axle stand. Locate the bonnet release. The lever is located in the passenger footwell. Pull the red lever. Once the bonnet is open, lock the bonnet in using the bonnet stay. To remove the air box, there is an oil breather on the front of the box. Push the air tab down to release the pipes. There are also two Jubilee clips, one holding it to the intake manifold and one holding it to the intake pipe. Remove both Jubilee clips. Now there is a tab at the bottom part of the air box. You need to wiggle the box slightly to allow the box to be released off the tab. To remove the first rod, push the baton back on the rod and push the rod back. This will allow you to remove the rod. It's the same principle for the second side, but in this case the actual retaining lugs that hold the rod on had actually broken, so the rod just fell off. Refitting the new linkage. Start by fitting the grease dust cover. This will just slide over the ball joint. Before fitting the new rod, just apply a small amount of grease inside the ball joint. Now, lining the ball joint up with the new rod, push the new rod onto the ball joint, making sure it's clipped into place. There is also a retaining clip that holds it all together. These can be slightly difficult to fit, making sure that you've aligned it correctly. The clip will come out the other side of the joint. Once you're happy it's in, spin the clip over and clip into place, as shown. It's the same principle for the other side, refitting the rod, making sure you've fitted the dust cover, etc. To remove the second rod, using a 13mm spanner, get the spanner behind the rod and lever back. This will pop the rod off the ball joint. Again, repeat the same process on the other side of the rod. Again, when refitting, make sure you've fitted the dust covers, greased the rod, and once the rod is clipped into place, you've also fitted the retaining clips. Again, using a 13mm spanner, slot it between the ball joint and the rod and lever back. This will allow you to remove the rod. Repeat again for the other side. When refitting rods, please do not forget to fit dust covers and also to grease and fit retaining clips once the rod is fitted. If there is any adjustment needed on the rods, this is quite straightforward to do. Crack off a lock nut and twist the ball joint end of the rod into the correct position. Wind up the lock nut and lock into place. You can see here our new gear linkage rods in operation, firmly attached to the ball joint with good movement and no possibility of the ball joint popping off like the original part. Thank you for watching this X8R video. If you have any questions, you can contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.